In this video, I'm going to show you how to find a scholarly article using one of my favorite databases, Academic Search Premier. So for this video, I'm going to look for scholarly articles on a topic that I'm researching. Are overweight kids or obese kids more likely to get diabetes? So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to Academic Search Premier. That's one of our research databases. And to get there, I start from the library's homepage, then click on the Research Databases link. Academic Search Premier is up near the top. And when you read the description, you can see why I want to use it to find scholarly articles. Another term for scholarly articles is this term here, peer reviewed. So I know that this database has those kinds of articles. And it's a great database to use just for general research. I'll click on the title. And if I was home right now, I'd be asked to put in a username and password. You would just use whatever username and password you use for Talonet. So I already have some keywords that I've written down for my topic, and they are obesity and children and diabetes, right? So I'll hit the search button. Now I have all kinds of articles. Academic Search Premier also includes popular magazines. So if you need to find all different kinds of sources on your topic, this is a great database. But today I'm looking for scholarly or peer reviewed articles. So I'm just gonna click this button on the left to limit to just those. So right here, I've got 3,000 articles, over 3,000 articles. They're all scholarly. They've been published from 1970 until today, so I might decide that I want to narrow my date range by moving this slider button over. Right. Um, I can also use like subject terms to narrow it some more. Oh, obesity and children. That sounds like my topic to me. And um, you can see in some of these articles, there is no link to the full text, which is down here. If that annoys you, you can click this full text button over here. Right. Pediatric obesity and vitamin D deficiency. This article looks interesting to me. I can click on the title. I can scroll down and I can read the abstract, which is a summary of the article. If this article looks like it's going to answer my question about my topic, I can click this link to the full text and the full text should open up. Okay, so I have the whole article right here. And once I have the article here, I can print it or I can download it using these buttons over here. If I go back to the results list, you're also going to see links to email the article, which is nice because when you email it, you can ask it to send you the citation in MLA. If you like this article and you want to find more on the topic, in this database you can use a subject term. So this subject term here, obesity and children, if I click that it's going to show me every single item in this database that talks about obesity and children. And I'll probably want to add diabetes back in to make sure I'm limiting to those articles that talk about obesity and diabetes together.